Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Classic Levitic playing another game of the DLC or Doki Doki Liter Literature Club. That works. So, I don't know what, what happened last time, I think we joined the club. And now it's this. We all sit for a moment. Okay. I have an idea. Natsuki and Yuri quizzically look quizzically at Monica. That's a new word you can use. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone's Steven. Uh, seems happy. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's, st there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Demo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought... Mm. You are. I'm defenseless against the girl. How am I supposed to, to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if, I'm, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. <laughs> Alright, we, we officially joined. One by one, well, it looks like all of them at the same time. Yes! So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay everyone, I think with that, uh, we can of officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment, write a poem to bring next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. I look, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah. Can I re really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Oh, that's me. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue chit chat as Yuri and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sari and I never walk together, together anymore because we just always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You know what's the best way to write a poem? Oh, I'm actually... Okay. Okay, I'm actually writing poems. I was about to say, like, just find random phrases, jumble them up, and... You know, like, grab, like, uh, what is it called? Flashcards, write, like, a phrase. Put a bunch of them together, randomly pick few, and there's your poem the best way to write a poem especially even more fun if you're doing it with friends put a f put a random phrase here put a random phrase here put a random phrase here or something like that then you just speak randomly and there it goes pick words you 
think your favorite club member will like. Oh gosh, I don't know. <coughs> Massacre. Misery. Uh, let's see. I'm really curious if I put m Massacre. Ah, oh, so it's not Kawaii. <laughs> Uh, contamination, <coughs> incongruent, suicide, <laughs> tragedy, comfort, boop, shirt, uh, email. Anxiety, depression, uh, hopeless. I like the word shiny, I'll use that. Philosophy, unstable, lazy, nibble. I don't know what that means. Parfait. Agonizing. <laughs> Alright, so it, it's gonna be a pretty dark game with all those words. Now again, lunatic. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. At le well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Okay, drink. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Yeah, right. Oh, come on, like it deserves any slack. Sorry, you told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to come just come here and hang out or what if you don't take it seriously then you won't see the end of it yeah what's that called again uh foreshadowing you know natsuki you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps your manga collection in the club room <sighs> natsuki finds herself stuck between saying monica and manga Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry guys, Lunatic always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, how dependable. Sorry that's because the room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> you two are really good friends aren't you? Might be a little jealous. How come you and Lunatic can become good friends too? Uh, sorry. Mm. As usual, Tyre seems to be oblivious to the weird si situation she just put me into. Ah. Oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, sorry. Me? Hmm, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Why is it? Never mind. Sorry, I made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expect expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gestures, gestures from you is a pleasant surprise. Will make me happy no matter what. It's not so. Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out the book that you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... Has this girl accidentally been so cute? I don't know. There's a charm. 
she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yui, thank you, I'll definitely read this. And I enthusiastically take the book. You. I can't read. I need something to read. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't. You know what? Uh, let's see. Settings, yeah. I'm gonna lower that a wee bit more. Since there's no actual voice. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's all in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Alright. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Uh, but that only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. Sorry. I was just facing out. I mother did sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I would probably notice in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to reread some of it. Not any particular reason. <laughs> just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Sure. Sure. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me about. I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. When it starts to pick up, you might have some hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Ooh. That's basically me when reading Steins Gate all over again. Played for three hours straight, not even noticing it. El Sai Kungru. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, she likes the dark words like misery and agony. So, probably something like that. Here, you close the book and scans her eyes over the back. Portrait or Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Alright, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her lo long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... Uh, Pretty dark. I'm pretty spot on, I think. Kind of dark. Yeah, yeah. You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Again, so many shows. Uh, what's that called? Uh, one anime called uh, School Live. You think it's about some nice, cool uh, slice of life? No. It's not. Yeah, what else? What's another dark one? And that's the first episode of that show is not really what it gives out to be. So it's like a giant Rick roll, but already know that's gonna happen. You may sound like going to be a nice story, but it's so dark, turn came from nowhere. Ah ha ha! You gently giggles all of a sudden. Gently. Are you not a fan of this sort of thing? Oh, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Ooh, literature. I mean, there's some dark literature out there. Like, uh... Well, not really dark, it's more like disturbing in a way. Animal Farm or something like that. George Orwell, I think that's the name. Of the author, George Orwell. Good book. Good book. 
Uh, there's also the other one, the other game back in 2003 called Sai no Uta. That game is just not not fun. Well, I enjoyed reading it, but overall the story isn't really pleasant for all ages. I guess it contains what cannibalism, murder, rape, torture. Yeah, so it's it's. I think there's like a picture I found a while back where, uh, in a nutshell, I've been to an accident. I see the world as flesh, and I can't see humans as humans anymore. I met this one monster that looks like human to me, and the first thing we did, uh, we we baited my best friend's girlfriend, killed her and ate her. Then I invited my my best friend to a deserted place and push him down a well. And the last one is, I, I think his girlfriend, his actual girlfriend, then tortured and raped and ate her. Pretty pretty messed up story. At the end, everyone dies. So, I mean the whole world dies. That's what I mean. Not like characters. I mean the whole world dies. I hope so. Oh, I drifted way too far. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Yandere! It's just those kind of stories. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly when you thought you related to the protagonist, they may have naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain plan. I'm rambling, aren't I? That's me too. I think I just spent three minutes not playing the game but talking about something. But I guess you can skip if you want. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're just passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. <laughs> it's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact... I might as well start reading it, right? You don't, you don't have to. Uh, why are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I sit into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. <laughs> What's up with these high level words? I don't even know. Well. Third language. Third language is my language. Oh, blah, 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 blah. English is my third language. So, yeah. I don't know a lot of English words as you think I might. That. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. As soon as I understand what Yuri means about reading in company, it's as if I can he feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. <laughs> Sorry. I was just. You really. You, you, Apologize a lot, don't you? I really think that's me also. But... Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. It must be that one character again. Uh, Shoko. Uh, I, I, I forgot the other name. Uh, sh shape of your voice. Well... If I have a camera, I would do the gestures because she's deaf, she used sign language. I really think it's a really good movie. I really think it's a good movie. 
You know what? I'll, I'll stop rambling and end the episode here. I, I don't think I'm in best shape or mental. But, you know. So far, I'm just gonna recap if you guys are interested about the things I said. There's uh, Sayana Uta, there's School Live, and there's Shape of Your Voice or Koino Katachi. I'll just explain the last one real quick because I really want you to share it. I think it's really awesome. Uh, basically, back in, I guess, the protagonist uh, bullies a deaf girl that, and, you know, ends up not really having a good time. She left, now she, he regrets everything that he did, then founds her again, sees her again at high school. Whoops. At high school, and he wants to make things right. He tries to be friends, gather up the old his old friends to see if you know they'd be want to be friends now and in terms of actually doing that he actually learned sign language so because just in case because you know I think they're like sixth grade so you don't know any better but yeah that's that's how it is later well originally he wants to commit suicide but his mom found out I won't do it again there it is, then... Yeah, it's, I think it's a really good story. The suicide part, that's like, very beginning, so... You know. Alright, I'll leave the episode here. If you guys like this content, click like and subscribe. Pardon about my rambling, I really just enjoy talking about things that I really enjoy. I mean, that's how it goes. If you really enjoy it, then there's no problem, but... I guess this video, you can skip over it if you guys want, but... You know. Up to you guys. So hey, if you guys like this content, click like and subscribe to see more. And as always, logging out and cheers. First, I gotta save. Alright, later guys.